Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday on this August 19th. Right smack in the middle of less than two weeks or three weeks away for the end of summer. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Nice to be back. Tony, Andrea, good to see you. Rich, Jeff, good to see you all. All right. Well, I was I was back from vacation myself, and uh, let me tell you, it's 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 you got to get away. You really got to get away. It's it's the only time when you could do it, and uh, just want to give you guys a little heads up on <laughs> what the hell is going on as of last week. Let me tell you one thing you've learned um, over the years. I've been trading for over over twenty years, twenty five years now, and one of the big things I was always taught when it comes to trading: number one, don't ever trade when you're on vacation on um you know we don't have access to a computer number two don't trade during the month of august on any of your swing trades or investments um day trading has been just phenomenal we're doing great on some some trades i know some of you guys did really well we'll talk a little bit about it uh what's that stock that will that did pretty well uh last week uh was it the pstv was it bring that up so let me bring up the time frame on that. You know, you can see that stock just literally went from five dollars all the way to fifteen dollars. I mean, where do you find opportunity stocks like that other than here at CyberTrade University, right, guys? I mean, but the market was up eight hundred, we're down three hundred, we're up five hundred. I mean, we're we're up about two eighty right now. It is just one volatile market like we say in the uh in the in the, in the italian uh community it gives you agita uh which what means it makes your stomach just totally like turn upside down so the thing is this i i, I some of us i told you listen i got out of my swing trades and i lost a little money and i'm not embarrassed to say it because remember the big reasons why a lot of you guys are here at cyber Train university is not us to teach how to make money it's how to teach how to stop losing it and let me tell you something I think I lost about like, I don't know, like 1% or 2% on certain stocks. Not a lot, you know. But if I had them today, I'd be down maybe about 10%, which is a lot on, on some of those stocks. So um, I, I just, like we always say, just buy it back cheaper. Just buy it back cheaper. You know, listen, uh, the market's great. The economy's doing great. Everything looks great. Other than, you know, the media's trying to bash the, the say we're going to hit a recession soon. I mean, I haven't seen anything other than these crazy indicators uh, that were invented by mathematicians once again. But overall, the market's doing fine. I mean, uh, people could come out with good earnings other than Macy's didn't do too well last week. But um, but guys, listen, just don't jump into any of the um, any swing trades yet. I mean, I, I listen, day trading has been phenomenal. Um, it's been a shockingly unbelievable August uh, and. This is what you train for. But listen, September, October, November, uh, Congress is coming back. You know, they're going to make, make make some changes in legislation. Who knows? Maybe they won't do anything. But um, but we went through a big earnings uh, announcements already with, uh, with some companies. You got to remember, these companies live three months at a time. I don't know if you guys know this that. But we watch these companies, and their survival is three months. Okay, that's all they care about is what's going to happen three months from now. What's going to happen three months from now? You, you think like, oh, the company's been in business for 50 years. No, they don't look at 50 years. They look three months because that's where that earnings always comes out. So um, that's what makes trading so exciting. But understand something. Today's date is August 19th. Kids, um, I had to drop my son off at college next week. So kids are still on vacation. Nothing's really going to kick in until after Labor Day. So just be very, very careful trying to, unless you see something you want to steal that you always had your eye on, that's one thing. But just be really, really careful because I don't really think we're out of the waters yet with all this crazy volatility that's going on. Now, there are a couple of stocks, by the way, just talking about what happened yesterday, uh, last week. This is what you train for. People think this is a unicorn, but this is totally a unicorn that is always showing up here at the Cyber Train University chat room at least once uh, once a week or or two, three times a month. You get a stock that goes from $5 in le less than 30 minutes goes to 16 Where are you going to find things that trade like that? You know, people can't make that in a lifetime on a stock. You do it in one day. And remember what we always taught you. It's not about making the 10 points on the trade. You know, I know it sounds nice to buy $5,000 worth of stock and take out $10,000 profit. 
Um, but if you just made a dollar on it, that's all you really focus on. Do that every day for the rest of your life. Quarter million dollars a year pays for, you know, helping pay for my son's college, I'll be honest with you. All right. So um, let's go look at some of the stocks that are moving on. Hey, hey Ken, I got, good, I got great news for Ken, for Ken. Hey, Ken, guess what? D, what is it? D-R-Y-S. We don't have to trade it anymore. We don't have to talk about it anymore. That's it. It's bought out. It looks like it's a buyout that's going on. Thank God. <laughs> oh, my God. Unbelievable. That stock, we made a lot of money. We lost a lot of money in that stock. I, I Actually, I made a lot of money on it um, when I, just out of coincidental being at the right place at the right time. But, yeah, now we can go sleep at night and not have to talk about this, this stock anymore. Anyway, long story, guys. You go back in the old videos. I mean, we can look at some of these stocks. This stock, it's going to bring up, you know, just some people don't realize the stock, but this stock between all the reverse stock splits, I don't know if this is right, but this stock was a $15 million stock. And it's and you're looking at five dollars. How's that even possible? Between the reverse stock splits and the reverse stock splits and reverse stock splits and the reverse stock splits and the reverse stock splits, this thing had so many damn splits, and it was going at like five cents. They re they reversed it back to ten dollars. You know, went back to whatever ten cents, whatever it is, and just kept doing it. And uh, just uh, I'm glad it's out of our way now. All right, so let's look at a couple of stocks that are oh H M N Y. Yeah, what about that one? That one just. <laughs> There's another one, you know, uh, one of the students that we, we, uh, I think it's Anna, you know, she saw me on YouTube and she says, Fausto, if it wasn't for you, um, I'll be bankrupt right now. And that this one, when she watched my video on the stock, this is one of the things that convert her to actually be one of my students. Uh, when we talked about this stock, you know, this is what you deal with every day. It's gotta be very careful. People think it's a joke. You know, you want to hold some of these stocks, they'll, they'll, they'll destroy you. Just remember, you could always buy it back cheaper. All right, so anyway, let's get back into the market and see what's going on uh, and see what's happening this morning. But we got a couple of good, interesting stocks. Remember, it is Monday. You still got another week of summer right now. I actually take off this week, not last week. But uh, I'm glad I did because I know it's going to rain where I am for the past week. So I guess a lot of people are probably going to be staying in. Let's start off with the, e, um, the MGEN. Here's a stock of 14%. Stock, you could see, took a, bit, a little bit of an, a big hit right here. It's gapped up. It's, it's over a dollar. You know, I don't like to trade stocks under a dollar because you're dealing with tenths of a penny. She does got some ECN orders out there. She got some, um, I'm, I'm seeing some nice block orders around. So this one looks pretty decent. I'm not completely sold about it, but you know what? It's not terrible. PROV. So this stock, you guys remember, we traded this stock back in March, I think it was. It went from $4 to almost $10. Great, great short squeeze. Stock has been making a little bit of, uptick these last couple of days you could see it where it was at a buck 50 now it's at 230 um i see some good volume in it got some nice buyers in it look over here on the right on the, on the level three you got some good orders out there which kind of helps us out um that, that one's not bad what else we got here w all uh wb the wb's got a really big push now it's a little bit on more on the expensive side not we're always a fan of trading a 40 dollars stock remember Less money, less risk, more reward. That's what we're all about. You know, make 50 cents on a $40 stock is the same 50 cents you'll make on a $5 stock. Still the same 500 bucks, still the same $100,000 salary. So uh, just need more money and it's, you know, you're dealing with better traders. So we always say that with something we, you learn in phase one in the class. We kind of really stress that out a lot. But this one's not terrible. Got a couple of uh, a nice little push right there. Spreads a little bit big. Um, you got some nice tier sizes. You got a ten thousand share buy right here, forty bucks. So you see, you, you see how it's kind of really holding right there at that forty. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, let me just fix this. You know, time frame. All right. So we got WB. What else we got on here? I got a few more. Uh, DPW. Another one that we saw earlier this morning. This thing just took off. And you know what? It wasn't too crazy about it because, you know, we usually don't start around 8 o'clock in trading. And you could see it, it had that nice little big push for a buck. And now it's kind of holding here pretty strong. Stock is gapped up pretty big now. But the big picture I want you to look at is look where the stock was in 2019. Stock was a $220 stock. Now, let me see if I can go back further and see what happened if I look on the weekly. Okay. This stock was a $4,500 stock, I guess, with all the stock splits. So, does that mean the stock has got plenty of time, to, uh, plenty of room to move? Absolutely, because you know what? She wasn't um, back in July. She was close to that twenty dollars price range. 
So still a lot of big movement here to move. So keep an eye on it. I think they're going to get some profit taking going on. Being up 300% overnight, um, I think if you woke up on Friday and you're here on Monday and seeing that you're up that much, you might want to probably take a profit. So let's see how the pro let's see how the day goes on with that stock before we have any uh, consider jumping in because that is a lot, 285%. That's a lot. But once again, it all started at 7.30 this morning. Now, Yum, uh, Y-U-M-A, Yumma. That's another one that's doing pretty well. That one is also, you remember back in April, we traded the stock. Uh, it was not only a good day trade, it was a great swing trade. $2 all the way to $8 stock. You could see it. Now it's gapping up pretty nicely. It's testing some resistance levels right around here, around 340. Got great orders. Stock's trading great volume, 670,000 shares in pre-market. Um, had a little bit of a shake right here, right around 830. It dropped from... 340 to 260, but it had that big, big buyer out there that kind of held it, and she shot right back up. This one looks pretty good, up 168% just on pre-market alone. And, and, and remember, guys, this is not a gap up, okay? This is pre-market, totally, totally different. This is not like we were looking at uh, dryers. All right, so this is one you go, everyone's been talking about this morning. Now, the PCG. Now, from 8 o'clock this morning, it's been a great short. She had a big bounce. I was looking on my level four, not even on my level three, on my level four. I saw a really, really big buyer. Is he still out there? Let me see. PCG, is he still out there? Yeah, he's still out there. So you can see right here on the level four, uh, we still got a big buyer that's been sitting here right around 10 bucks, 15,000 share buyer out there. And it kind of came close to it here right around, what time was that? You see around 8.15 and then shot right back up. But he's still out there. He's been out there all morning. So that's a pretty good sign. We'll see if that stock holds at that support. So listen, as much as the stock is down a lot, 1.2 million shares. Remember, how do stocks get driven up? Buyers and sellers. So keep an eye on that PCG. And last is APPS. I don't know if I missed anything else. But this stock's been doing really well. It's been a great, slow, level one swing trade. So you can see it from the beginning of the year, $2 up to 7 Stock's been really, really strong. Um, I don't know how good of a day trade it's going to be. At 9.30, yes, on Friday, it went from 6.10 to 6.50, which is not bad. I mean, but um, but she's been pretty damn strong also, so keep a close eye on that one. All right, guys, so that's our list. Anything I'm missing I did not call out? Anything else? I think we pretty much got them all. All right, guys, so anyway, there's our watch list, and um, the new week. And we're right smack in the middle. Don't forget, it is summertime, so, you know, don't be focusing on some swing trades. I know you're getting probably getting the itch, but just focus on the day trades. And just remember, guys, just focus on your day's pay. That's the tip of the day today. Focus on your day's pay. That's what you train for. That's what we teach you here at Cyber Train University, and that's what you need to make to have a happy life. All right, guys, good luck, everyone. Happy trading.